Uh, let's call ourselves to order. 705, meeting of the West Newbury Board of Selectmen. Um, first order of business is um, a request for uh, a road race, a use of facilities request on uh, Thanksgiving Day. Great. This is a this is a new, right? You're no. Just, no. Yeah, you're, you're just a new, um, a new face. A I'm new a new face. face. Um, I'm here just in place of Scott Walsh, who you see every year, yeah. um, because he couldn't come to the meeting tonight. I'm on the board of directors, so I'm okay. just filling in for him. And you are short record. I'm Elizabeth Vangelis. Okay. So is let me just make it. There's no change. It's all going to take place um, at Pipe State Hill on November 23rd, which is Thanksgiving morning. Um, it's going to be at 8.30, and the race itself is going to take place on Pipe State Hill, the trail area, and the, um, in the trails that go into Mill Pond. Mill Pond. Mill Pond. Yeah. Yep, it's all the same. And then the even the beneficiaries are going to be the same. So I well, excuse me. I, I didn't hear. I didn't hear what you said. Um, Scott said the beneficiaries are going to be similar, and I can tell you what those are going to look like if, if you'd be interested. So the people, the donations, because we're a nonprofit organization, so our proceeds go to the a, a bit to the club, but mostly towards non. Um, other like nonprofit and donations to local community. Okay. Did you want me to go over that information? So the West Can you do me a favor? Uh, Could you just talk? To, that microphone it, is not for us. It's okay. for the it's for the broadcast. Oh no problem. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the proceeds go to the West Newbury Parks and Recreation Department, the Mill Pond Committee, Our Neighbor's Table in Amesbury, and also Casty Nichols, who is a young child. She's four or five years old, and she has a rare um, disease that she needs ongoing like medical procedures. So part of the donation goes to her family for support. Mm-hmm. But tell it to, to the uh, uh, Western Great Bikes Commission. Yep, perfect. I am. Is this the same as last year? Yes. Same as last year, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, those costs, that. those costs are not the same as last year. Yeah, I don't okay. remember that list. So, the well, maybe we just didn't yeah. know. Maybe we didn't know. We, we might have been think. we might have been thinking of another race. Uh, uh, yeah. Because now that, we, Joe, like, if they weren't doing anything, I would agree with you, but it's on Mill Pond, so we should probably give it to Mill Pond. It's on Park and Rec land and on some of their fields, so it's probably good to help them maintain their fields. They use it for that. Yeah. Well, I guess that's... Uh, you know what I mean by that? Yeah, I, I guess I didn't think where this year. You guys are sure how to use it. But I can, I can tell Scott, they let the race director allocate the donations, so I'll let him know that the West Newbury Bicentennial is something that you guys are what considering us in question. When these races come in, we pick one. Mm -hmm. One year it was the Garden Club, Garden Club. Yeah. one year it was the uh, Historical Commission, one year it was, um, I don't know, we just try to spread it around, Yeah. but only for for-profit mm -hmm. races. So we were just trying to spread it around to people. Yeah. But uh, that, that, that was the reasoning. The one came in, if it wasn't last year, it was year before. And I think they had given the garden club ladder dollars or something like that. And then we 
Yeah, yeah I'm good. We made, uh, I'm, tell, I'm telling you to speak in the microphone, I don't even have my hand. I, I just feel as a nonprofit, they maybe have to, yeah, maybe so. shouldn't, we shouldn't be telling them what to. I think we have in the past, though. With some yeah, with the with the for profit one, yeah. yeah but I don't, I we I don't remember the Winter Circle being a non profit. Yeah, they are. I think we. They is are it the, is it the restaurant up in Salisbury? Yeah. Where where we have their name because they've um, like the, the family unique, members, yeah, who founded that club. But we're a five hundred one c three non profit, and the race directors don't make any money from directing these races. So part of their motivation is that they get to. Um, not necessarily with this race, but I know for the other race directors, part of their motivation is they pick a cause that's really close to their heart, and that's what motivates them to work hard to um, to make the funds for that race. I'd rather just let them do what they See, that's the way I feel, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I understand where you're coming from, Joe, but I don't, I'm not with this one. Okay. And this directly affects Mill Pond, directly affects the Park and Rec. It's fine. Now, did, did we... Did you guys, um, did we get signed off on the Mill Pond and all, committee and all that? Okay. Yeah, they're a very experienced, very well-run organization. So now, I remember I, I, one one year it snowed. Mm -hmm. And I think you're the one, Joe, who mentioned, like. Yeah, they actually, they ran it, and it actually, yeah. it was the right decision Yeah. in retrospect. So what happens How if do you some, call yeah, if, what if, if something a... happens that it needs to be canceled? Because I remember Joe saying, well, it's safe. I remember the one year it snowed mm -hmm. doing this on Thanksgiving. And of course, nobody's around on Thanksgiving. Right. So do you have like a website for the race that you would, you know, you tell people if something or happens? Or you probably have to... their emails, you'd email them. Yeah, we have their website and we have the emails. And actually, a few years previously, we had a situation where we had to cancel a race. Um, it was a race in December. It was a toy tar out in Merrimack. And we just send out an email. We encourage people. I mean, we're nonprofits. So we still encourage people to make donations. And people still donated toys and everything. So it still helps the charities. It's just that we don't have a road race that day. And it, it goes OK. We, we don't have any problems canceling races. That was the only question that I've had through the years about this one. OK, any other questions? No. no. I move, Admit, go ahead. I move to approve the Winter Circle uh, wild turkey trot on for November 23rd, 2017. Second. And then discussion would be and let them do their donations to whomever they want. Oh, that's fine. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, I meant to bring this up before we started. I, I forgot. So a lot of things come up. We've talked about this before. A lot of things come up during our meetings and I think we need to like have a there's the fo follow up is uh, sometimes random that I think we need a master list of like if there's follow up from a meeting like how we do like who's who's it assigned to what's the follow up what's the due date. I meant to bring that up before we started like an meeting. action plan after. The yeah, meeting. I think you brought that up actually. I have. Yeah. So well, there needs to. I mean, Mary can keep the list, but it's not necessarily. It's not you. I mean, it could be. I mean, Mike usually gets about half the work. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Jen, the only thing we did was the winter circle Gary. race that happens on Thanksgiving every year. We um, we approved it. We approved it. It's a nonprofit, and they're giving money to um, some local charities, including the Mill Pond, um, Park and Rec, and um, a, a Mother's Table in Amesbury and something else. Uh, for a young girl. So are, you, are we, uh, does that sound like a good idea? Yeah, I mean, it, it does, meeting, but how instead, do we do it? Instead of the minutes, oh. she should, she should, Mary needs to write down an act, like on a, a separate a, list, like a, a, you, a bullet thing. When we say, kind of, I don't know. When we well, say yeah. Mike, when, when we say Mike, when we say Mike, could you please um, do that? Or Gary, can you talk to the developer about the parking lot? And that should be a bullet list. And then the next day, an email should go out to all those individuals and copy it us and say, hey, listen, from last night's meeting, this is, this is what uh, the selectmen need from you. Well, we had, Mary and I had an idea that at least on things that need to be signed, we were going to put an asterisk on all the items that, because sometimes we forget to sign everything that on, you know. But okay. now, if we could do a yeah, variation on that. Now. What's that? That's our case now. 
if, that's if, different from the action plan. Because right, right. Certain things are on the agenda, but then lead to other questions and other actions that are even on the agenda right. that we delegate to somebody. Okay. So, if it's, the so if it's unclear, interrupt us and ask for clarification. Is, okay. Do you want? Yeah. Like if one of us says it, but the other two don't say anything. So. Mm -hmm. that item. Or no action. Or no action. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, next item is to discuss um, no parking signs, uh, various areas of the town. We're trying to standardize this and have it all on a master list uh, so there won't be confusion and basically confusion on what has been approved and what hasn't. Uh, it be written down rather than people recalling previous uh, selectmen meetings. The list as uh, stated now uh, d delineates Park, uh, no parking uh, specifically written down, which we ha which has already been instituted on on Farm Lane. I'm not going to read the whole thing there. Um, are you guys are you guys here for any specific thing? Because this wasn't this has to be an open wasn't this a open meeting? What is it called? Yeah, is this considered a public hearing for this? Didn't we have to have that? No. Right. Okay, so th we're coming up with the final language now. Okay, gotcha. I understand, but we just we're, we're making sure that the, all these things were done properly. Right. So Chestnut Street, there is no parking on the street, and Chestnut Hill Street, there is no parking on the street. So, I, uh, speaking with uh, Gary Bill this afternoon, he uh, the the next place which at the moment says there will be no parking on Bachelor Street on the easterly side of the road starting at the rear exit of the safety building south to uh, to number 25 Bachelor Street. Yeah. So in other words it doesn't go it doesn't go all the way to Main Street and um, uh, Gary Bill felt that that instead of starting at the rear exit of the safety building that that should be changed to 25 Bachelor Street all the way to Main Street should be uh, should be no parking, sort of where the Historical Society building is. So I just uh, bring that up for what discussion, what people think about that. I don't care. That, I mean, it doesn't make a big difference to me. I don't think people... Pe I, I don't making think that corner is a little tight and... Well, you, felt can't, you can't park so many feet off a corner to begin with. Right. So that's... A, a moot point. But. Right. And I think the issue with parking is because of the Action Cove people using that as a, using the ball Bachelor field. Street as an overflow. So as you get down to Main Street, it's less. So 25, 25 is sort of at the Do we know what beyond, beyond uh, um, south of, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I have no problem with that. And all the way to Main Street. I don't, yeah, I don't even see anybody. Okay. Starting at 25 Street to Main Street. Yeah, or starting at Main Street to 25. Starting at Main Street to number 25 Bachelor. Uh, the next um, item was uh, no parking uh, as the little zone that's been set up in front of the uh, front of the post office. Um, that's been there I think it's that's a that's, makes sense that's worked pretty well I think um, uh, and that, the next one says Main Street on the south side so across the street from the post office from the entrance of Winfield uh, crossing east for 1500 feet so that would be Hold heading on. towards where, where, are you New, yeah, where, where are you Main on? Street <coughs> I, oh here Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I skipped. I skipped Harrison Avenue. Okay. The old, um, well, the whole there's, there's Chestnut Street. We 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 just said those. Oh, we did. Yeah. Okay. 
That's where the woman's, um, the OBGYN went. Oh, you were farm lane, the, okay. The office building. They call that Winfield. So that's, that's a, um, uh, a state highway. I don't know if we have uh, jurisdiction there anyway. Yeah, I had one question. Okay. On the prior list, uh, there was uh, Molten Street, and I don't see it on this list. I mean, I think that was one of the two places that we had said that uh, we thought a resident it, may have put the sign up. If Molten yeah. Street is not on there, then it was inadvertently deleted. Inadvertently, okay, because there are currently no parking signs on Molten Street. Correct. Now. Correct. Which I would advocate. I don't think they were ever actually approved. Yeah. I saw um, a sign on Main Street the other day and today. That was a pretty um, official a no, sign. A says, no parking sign? No, that says no turnaround. Can you give me a hint where? Um, going from here, going towards Newburyport on the right-hand side, those two new houses. So it would be after Bachelor Street, those two new houses. Well, they, they, put, they just put one on their driveway they so that people don't use their driveway to turn around. Yeah. They can't do that. They just put a sign in the right of way and didn't ask us, first of all. I, and it's, it looks like it's an official sign. It's been, it's been there for a couple of years, I'd say. De definitely. No. Oh, yeah. It's an official sign. It, it looks like it. They, they yeah. got it at Home Depot. somebody's well, signs company. Yeah. I, I, so people can put up those signs? Technically, in the, in the states the right, right away? No. Not, the right not of in way the right of way. No. I, I don't. I'll have to look at the sign either tonight or tomorrow. I, I just don't remember seeing that particular sign. But it's right when those houses went up, practically. It, it, it's no different than the little green plastic men with the flag that say "slow down." <laughs> it, it's it's no different than that. You can't put those in the right of way either, and I, and I know people do all the time. But those are movable, at least. They're little plastic ones. You buy yes, but, it, rocks. but I, I'm just kind of using this, this, the same. Out. I'm just trying to use the same analogy. Is that well, no? This one's in with a uh, I metal pole and everything. Oh, I'll have to look at it tonight. It looks like a home. no parking sign. It looks oh. exactly like, but it says "Don't turn around on my drive." Oh. It, it is what it is. I mean, so we, why don't we just uh, do we approve all of this in the Molten Street one, so we can get the verbiage, so we don't have to go through every single one of them? It, yeah. No, but I think some of them we we want to know. Okay. Well, the Malton Street one I would object to. Me too. Yes. I agree. And I would ask for that to be taken down immediately. Yes, and, and, and River Road. Those are the only two that I... I... I went and looked at River Road this afternoon. I think it's down already, actually. The, the sign is down. It says 25 River Road is um, a, on the north side is the river side across from the open field right after you go down the, the hill at the beginning of the street. And I think, it, I think the sign was put up there to prevent people fishing, to be honest. The, the, perhaps by a resident. Perhaps by yeah. a resident, okay. Well, that's what Gary kind of inferred. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So that one, I don't see that we uh, we need I mean, that need to have that one either. I'm fine with this list as written. Ex bless you, except for Malton Street and River Road. And to make the change on Bachelor, are you yeah. in favor yeah, of that? Fine. Okay. I'd like to know about the um, Main Street, the south side. So that's the opposite side of the um, post office. From the entrance to Winfield Crossing East, which would be the closest to Newburyport, for uh, 1,500 feet. So that's the intersection of Church Street. It's a, across the okay. street from Church Street, so it's very tight there, going around the corner. But why, who, who's, gonna, who's parking there? I've never seen uh, anyone park there. I, I've never seen anyone parking there either. It's just signs that have... But there's a no parking sign there now, so it wouldn't necessarily park there. 
I would agree with that one. I just had a picture myself to make sure it didn't um, interfere with the um, the garage. No, but it's, on the it's after. It's after the garage. Correct. I mean, we can read all the. I've read this. I yeah, mean, I've, you can read them all if you want, but I'm okay. I'm okay. okay with everything, but I don't want. I want the Molto one taken down River tomorrow, Road. and the River Road one is, is already down. It's down. It's no, I couldn't find a sign. So I, sure I move to approve this as written, with the exception of River Road and Moulton Street, and incorporating the change for Bachelor Street starting at Main Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Are there any other, um, on the agenda it says traffic rules. You know that the, gov the uh, state has given us the ability, the Board of Selectmen, to change the speed limits around town if we wanted to. Do you find? It's a 25. It's a 25? I, 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 that's another project that Gary, Bill, and I uh, are going to bring to the Thank board. Thank you. Bye. That, that's another uh, thing another that, ga that Gary, Bill, and I have been talking about for about the last 20 months that we want some things changed. Um, Increasing or decreasing? Decrease or standardize. Like, for instance, going down Church Street, there's three different speed limits. Make it one speed limit, the same for each side of the street. Because right now it's pretty confusing for the motoring public. And us yeah. to track, okay, we, were they in the 40, were they in the 25, just to mm -hmm. try to get things more standardized. So you and, and easier for, for the consumer or the driver to know exactly what they're supposed to be doing. So you said you talked to Gary. I presume you also talked to town council, too. Not yet. We're, we're not even we're there not at yet. That point. The okay. standardization, no. I think, is important because <clears throat> it helps the driver and not all of a sudden go from 40 to 25 and then they get a ticket because they're thinking that the last time they looked at a sign. When I, I, I would agree. Like even on Main Street, it's, it's, uh, it's 30 miles an hour for a bit and then right near uh, the, the Congregational Church, it turns to 35. And then, it, then it turns to 30. I mean, then, no, then it, right there it turns to, from 35 there, then it turns to 30 to going into the square. It's very confusing for people. Yeah. I, I, I'm in to standardize and when Gary and I get to that place, we'll include Mike in the conversation. Can, and can, we'll we, kind of uh, can we affect the uh, speed limit on that on Main Street? No. I don't think we can. No. Nope. Just stay down. We can't. Um, I thought. Yeah. This is a big thing in Boston where going over a bridge, it's a state bridge. So it's like 30, then 40 over the bridge. And then it's in Cambridge, then it's another one. It's like, yeah, 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 you're right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Thank you. You, uh, uh, you uh, okay, that's just a good, this is a good thing to talk. So the sum up of that conversation is that Mary needs to get with Mike. And, and we have to handle this the proper way so this can be done properly, correct? Correct. Yep. Because I don't know, you guys don't. If yep. I thought we had to have a public hearing, then that you're right, because then we don't have to so have what, one. So what's the answer to the question? Post it where? Post it where? So we have to post all those parking regulations in the yes. newspaper. Okay. That's what it is. Fine print. <laughs> so just uh, along that line, if I could just, uh, well, never, never mind, I won't, it's not on the agenda, never mind. Make a motion to um, accept the, um, the um, town meeting warrant as written. Yes, thank you. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 We need to sign those. I signed mine already. We all signed them already. Oh, okay. I didn't, I, I didn't see you guys. I move to approve the minutes of October 31st, 2016, April 10th, 2017, August 15th, 2017, as amended. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, oh, can I um, ask you? Go, go, go. So when we approve these minutes, how are they ending up on the website? Yes. How, and how and how long it, does it generally take? I'm not saying it, it's not. I'm just curious because people ask. Depends on how you're handling the mail. It could take a week. 
Emma? No, That's very reasonable. No, that's very reasonable. I was just curious to my own. No, that's great. You, you post it on the website and then give it a file a copy with it. Perfect. Right. Thank you. Make a, um, a motion to accept the invoice warrant. Second. We have some questions on that? Discussion. Um, no, they're on the payroll. Oh, those are payroll? Um, no, yeah, there's nothing. Unless you had something. I just, but there's just one. Um, Same track. One uh, item that needs, it's, I put it in blue for the. Andy signature. Uh, I believe it's the finance department which needs a signature, yes. Okay. Other than that, no problems. All in favor? Aye. 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 Move to approve the payroll warrant. Second. Discussion. There's something about that. Yeah, there's uh, two, two things. Yeah, one I is. Put a question on that too. One is that. Uh, Teresa Woodbury's leave is posted as regular hours as opposed to sick time. Yeah, they wrote it that they. It's but it, it's it. it's in the wrong column. Yeah, right. It's in the wrong column. So if we had to go back and look for that, that would be hard to be able to calculate that. And f right. And, and what so was we need there? to have it done properly. What so it there? has to be put on the sick uh, on the sick hours. Yeah. So somebody's keeping keeping an eye on it. And, and who does? Who's the person who keeps an eye on all this stuff? Yeah. Okay. So we need to make sure we keep uh, that. That, that question has been answered. Okay. I mean, we're the department head of that thing. Is that what you're saying? Well, yes. I know. Yes. Yeah. But we just want to make sure. I'm not saying anything nefarious is happening. I'm just saying we have to make sure that we. We just need to make sure everything is accounted for correctly. Accounted for accounted for we don't, I don't want an email I just want to make sure that somewhere somebody's making sure all the sick time is being properly documented so if we if somebody ever questions that we can say yes this is it that's it and it probably never will happen but it would be nice to know that so any other questions mm -hmm. uh, no uh, all in favor aye aye, aye. No, not the payroll. I abstain. I vote the president. Um, suggestions for items on future agendas. K uh, an update on the cable contracts. Would you want? Um, so this is the Verizon. Verizon and the other one. The other one's not signed yet. We haven't signed the. We haven't signed the Comcast one. We did. The Verizon one. Right. They haven't even contacted us. Is is it? Has it? Uh, it's has it run out? Yes. I just want to be able to secure it because they're the ones who did not want um, ten years in the beginning, right? Comcast wanted it. Yeah, but they 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 weren't comfortable. With, they didn't know how cable was going to be in ten years. Oh. They were generally yeah. a ten-year contract. So, they were very apprehensive about. I just want to get them to the table and just try to. Uh, I see. They all, have out, they all have out clauses anyway, so I don't know what the big deal is. Right, but um, yeah, they just they had that and they had a couple of other things that they had suggested, but there was not, nothing ever really proposed. We never got a final or said no, this is what we, they want. We reached, we reached out to them because you get something from the state saying that you're supposed to, and we right. did, and they just I got something initial. I just want to. I don't know. I just was thinking about it. And I think, Joe, you're the one who brought this up at our last meeting. Um, well, not our last one, the one before about putting something on the future agenda about getting something, an update about the schools and stuff like that. I had talked to them. Um, and yeah. We're going to wait. Yeah, they're yeah. going to wait because they are putting something together. There's yep. a working group now. And when they have something, they're going to go to all three towns. Great. OK. We're, we're OK. Uh, you have a comment? Yes. This is the portion of our agenda that we're talking about things to put on a, um, a future agenda. So if you have an item in here, we really can't talk about the item. You can ask us by giving us material and say, would you please put this on a future agenda so there can be a discussion? 
use mass general law with the open meeting laws is that we can't discuss anything that has not been posted. So okay. whatever that is, it hasn't been posted, so we can't discuss it. But you can give it to us because this is the portion of the agenda where it says we could have things. And we can decide whether we want to put it, it on, on the agenda. agenda. Yeah. Correct. Okay. Um, I did send a letter in here in July in regards to issues that uh, our organization has been working on since 1987. And so it's. Just, uh, so you know, just so you know, we've received all of your communication, and just speaking I, for myself, I've read everything you've sent. Oh, you did? Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, I have some updates here in regards to it, and I'd like very much to have a uh, opportunity to uh, present our concerns, you know, to the board. Uh, right now, uh, there's six towns within the 10 mile radius of the plant, and we got four of them that are endorsing our call. I and think all we're starting to talk about the topic yeah. now. Okay. So, you're, so you're crossing the line that we can't yeah, we have. Can't talk we about can't it. Talk other about people it. could have been here that wanted to talk about it when it's posted. So if that's the in, in, your updates and information. You can leave it. That would be great that you could okay. present it to the board and then we we'll, we will look at it absolutely. We will look at it, and if we feel that it's that we would like you on an agenda, Mary will contact you with a date and time for you to come back. Okay. That's fair. That's right? very good. I appreciate that, and we've had some real success. Okay. And. Uh, you know, we think it's a pretty important issue for not only the, the other towns, but certainly for West Newbury. All right. Excellent. Thank you. Thank All you right. for your concern. If you could give those to Mary, because she's the person who documents them and probably will stamp them and bring them in, and then she'll distribute them to us because she'll right. take a copy for the file. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for coming in, sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Do you have anything, Joe? I've he's, got, he's got something with like a lot of lines. I've on got it. a long list. Yeah. 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 Let's just go. Just okay. go. All right. So, I just want to make sure we still have the agreement that we've had. That the agreement is we rotate the chairmanship every year, and that. If a selectman requests something to be added to an agenda, that it is added. Do we still have that agreement? It's a gentleman's agreement, but I think yes, we do. it's a yeah. gentleman's yeah. agreement. Yeah, it's not not a voted agreement. It's a mm -hmm. okay. Should it be voted? Mm, I don't think so, but yeah. Well, a reason I bring well, it you're up. You're talking about a guy that sat on the board for years that couldn't get anything on an agenda. I mean, I've had a couple things that didn't get on the agenda, so that's why I'm bringing it up. Okay. Okay. I guess I'll move on to the next thing. Well, no, it's a, okay. I don't think this. Well, I don't think this is a problem. Do you? If you, there's a problem when we vote on things and then it becomes an absolute thing. I, maybe it was misunderstood or mischaracterized or whatever. And then, if you feel it's raised, maybe you have because you're bringing it up that it's raised to a level that you really want to put this in stone. Then. Well, I mean, you know, we can, because we can, there are some flexibilities that a chairperson, I think, should have, and I think that we all work together. But sometimes a, a so chairperson let, might make a decision, say, you know, it might not be right for that night. Let's so let's night. so let's say this then, to add to the gentleman's agreement, if mm -hmm. if there's something that we you suggest mm -hmm. and it's not on the agenda, mm -hmm. you should probably have a phone call or an email saying that that shouldn't go on the agenda. Here's why, so that you have an opportunity to respond to that, That's as fair. opposed to just taking it off. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Okay. Uh, next thing. Uh, there was a and Mary. You might have this on the agenda for next time. So this is in no particular order. But there was a request that came in Tuesday to erect a, st a stone wall on town property. So my opinion is this should be a vote of the board since it's on town property. The request is to have it on town property. So, town right away or town property? It's I know it's both. Same. It's both. It's pretty much the same it's thing. It's both. Yes. Well, I know it's the same thing, but it, is this on town property, like in the middle of um, Mill Pond? Or no, it's a, it's it... on a dead end street, kind of off out of up out of the way. Okay. I mean, I just think we should act on it one way or the other. It was a request by a resident. Okay. No. Okay. So. When you say we have to have it on the agenda, 
Or if we're going to vote on it, it should be on the agenda. Of course. Okay, but there needs to be a lot of backup material to that. I just don't want it to be on the agenda. Yeah, I'm not advocating for it. I'm just, no, no, I just no, want to no, answer not, the guy. I have to finish that sentence. It's not that I don't, don't want it on the agenda. So if that request comes in, we might want to look at it. This would be the first time I've ever voted on something like this since I've been a selector. So I would want, well, the well we had the one down The ladies on, on Garden Street. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. But yeah. that was after the fact. So I, I would want to know why. I would want to know environmental things. Do they have to go in front of CONCOM? Is it going to be anywhere near wetlands? Well, I, I think, don't know any of this stuff. I think he gave us a two-page document. So, I mean, if you have... You know what I mean by that? I don't want yeah. to approve something. Then one of the other boards in town go, you know, you approve them, the, and then all of a sudden there's stone walls somewhere. And they yeah. go, they, 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 they cleared... They cleared this and they poured concrete. I, I know your email was off. Um, okay. He gave us a two-page document that maybe Mary could print for you. Yeah, please. Okay. So, so shouldn't that, if if we're talking about a this is semi-construction, doesn't that go to, doesn't that go to the inspections department? I don't even know. So, so what what I what should happen is. Mary should give the email or the document to Mike, then Mike needs to chart out the path that we need to take. Why don't we just ask Mike? I don't think he's going to have the answers tonight. Yeah, exactly. There's a resident on a dead end street. I'm not, and again, I'm not advocating for or against anything. There's a resident that lives on a dead end street that there's a, and he's near the dead end of it, there's a stone wall across the street he has a 1,700-year-old, it's a house made in the 1700s. He wants to put an identical stone wall like 10 feet off the street, which is actually in back of the tree line. And he it's made, on right it's on the right of way. Okay, so. Well, I think I he know. wanted to know what the. you have an answer the, for that? He wanted to know what the process is. Do you have a definitive I, I'd like to know answer. what the process is. Okay, right. so if he has yeah. it. If he has a definitive answer, he can give us what the process is. Let's talk about it. But if he doesn't, need to research it. We're wasting our time. You'd get about a it. if you if you wanted to permit him, you'd give him a revocable license, which would basically just be permission to have it, which you could take away at any time. Okay, that's one thing. But the process is that when you're erecting a fence. Okay, so that with that. Would that fall on, there are certain guidelines and bylaws, I guess, in erecting a fence, correct? Like, if a fence, if I put a wooden fence up in my house, it can't be over 10 feet high, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so there are guidelines about fences. So there is something. So do those guidelines that we already have in place about fences, do those apply. apply to stone wall fences? To the extent that it would be... Um, you know what I mean by that? So structure. I'm not talking about on town property. So if we, so if they follow the same rules and guidelines about putting up fences, as long as they follow that rule, then we would give them that other that revocable um, permission license. license about having it. Because in case that we need that for that to be moved, that would that would be the reason why you would do that in 20 years. If we had that all of a sudden we needed access to something over there, that we would have the ability to say, okay, listen, you need to. We need to take move this, and they're going to say, "No way! You gave me the permission back in 2017." And we say, "Well, no, we did, but it was revocable at any time deemed necessary by the board of selectmen." Right. So, so that's the process. So, you know, I so mean, now, if I wanted to put up a fence in my property, correct? Mm -hmm. Right. Obviously, it has to be on my property, right? Mm -hmm. And I have to file some, follow some guidelines. Can I put it up in wetlands? No, I mean, no, it's you, not the you putting up the that? fence. It's not the putting up the fence that's the problem. It's it's doing something that would cause an alteration to the to the wetlands, into so, the runoff or something like that. Well, so I, it I caused, say, it's something that would cause an alteration to the wetlands. You can't you, yeah. it, it, any activity that would cause an alteration to the wetlands mm -hmm. would be subject to the jurisdiction of the conservation commission. Mm -hmm. It's not so much whatever it is. So what what other what other boards and committees would erecting a fence to have from what I understand of what they want to do there'd be no other one because not you could them do. anything depends so, depends I mean depends if I have a 10 foot high fence then right you have to go to the front of the board of the if board you had a 10 foot high fence you'd probably need a building permit if you had one that was less than uh, six or six feet or less yeah. you wouldn't 
long as it's on your land. As long as it's on your land. Right. Right. In fact, in this, so uh, the, that's the fact. So, so, so it depends what you do. That, that now would just work. I mean, so that we do have that. We can just treat it as a fence, and that he's not disturbing any wetlands or. Um, but but do, does he? Do the wetlands have to be delineated beforehand? There's there's no wetlands anywhere near this. <laughs> oh. I have absolutely no idea. But were you? Were you, were you, you and I think there's no are wetlands. You, are you, I can I can find a fern. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just, I laugh not because of this situation. Yeah. I just laugh because nah, everybody. Looks, you're right. Like my backyard. You're, you're right. Is yeah. You're right. Me, but I know it's considered right. wetland. Right. My that, that's fine. In, my neighbor put in a septic. Now I get it. It's considered wetland. Okay. So, I'm all I'm saying is just we should act on the guy's request one way or the other. Yeah. Put it on our put it on our uh, put it on our have him come in and uh, have him come in. Uh, Whatever the chairperson feels is time, and uh, is there is, is there is, is this time sensitive? Do they want to be able to do this before the frost? I have no idea. Or is he whatever? I don't know. Whenever the chairperson has room to talk about it, and I would ask just to make sure that we don't grant somebody something. It might be a good idea to ask conservation. <laughs> you're right. I mean, you, I, 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 absolutely, I, I, I right. totally agree. You're right. I, I yeah. Hate to say that to anybody. Uh, but but. I, I, on the side of a road that can be a culvert, and some pe yeah. some person's culvert is another person's Lake, Lake Michigan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Just to, so we don't grant no, something. That's that fine. Hmm? Sure. I would just ask. I would give the application, or whatever that request, not the application, I think, but whatever that request is. Tell them they probably should go see conservation before. They can ask for an opinion that is this erecting this stone wall will have any effect with any wetlands and ask them to and ask conservation to do what they do, right? Before yep. before they talk to us. Yep. Before the, yeah, for them to have some type of sign decision, off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign off before they talk to us. Yep. I don't know if it's applicable in this case, but you'd also want to check with the water department, making sure that there's no interference with. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what he plans on doing, but obviously he has to dig safes and all that kind of stuff. If he's going to be, I don't know what kind of wall he's building. So uh, I don't know if he's going to dig down and make sure he has a good solid footing or before he. Pour a footing, or yeah, I don't, I don't yeah. know. So, <laughs> anybody supposed to? Like, it's like when people put up a mailbox, it's, 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 it's really, really when you put up a mailbox. When you put up a ma actually a mailbox. A mailbox. I know. I guess a mailbox is actually is actually uh, what word am I looking for? Is more dangerous than anything else because it's generally in the right of way. And there's always a gas line. Like going down my street, there's a gas line. You have gas down. service. Yeah, it's on the end of my street. I don't personally have it because it was put in um, after and then uh, whatever. I have oil and propane. Uh, okay. So that's actually okay. Next. All right. Sorry. I, never mind mailbox. Next, next we had time. a major problem on New Farm on the weekend a month ago. Yeah, we did. Called and they hit a gas line. You're right. System, okay. And they hit a gas line. Next topic. So this is a question. Uh, we asked our department heads to give us their objectives for this year. In do, bold. do we? Yes, that's what I meant. Do we want to There's review? There's a folder there that's yeah. actually coming in. Right. I, I wanted to, us to go, and we should as of last week, uh, enough of them weren't in. That's why I didn't put it on. When the, were they? They, they were due Friday. So, so, the, in two so weeks, enough of them it, weren't done when In two weeks last they week. should be. Yeah. I think they should be done. So we'll look at those. Let's look at them. And maybe we want to add to them? Well, in the past, what we've done is we've, well, at least I've read them all, and then just things I had comments on, I made comments. And mm -hmm. Yeah. Not that's necessarily that's everybody's. Right. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Just so we can have a discussion. Yeah. So um, next thing is, and I think maybe there was some confusion about this, possibly, I don't know. We were talking about high school, middle school building costs, free cash last time. Um, I th and we we should have a discussion about the strategy, not about numbers, about the 
building costs before we have our finance committee meeting, which is to talk about free cash, uh, stabilization, and the high school cost. Sure. So I think just we should have a strategy that we're kind of in sync. Mm -hmm. So what I would suggest is we ask them to come in in two weeks at 7 o'clock. Maybe we move that back to 7.30 so that we could have that discussion from 7 to 7.30. So we're ready to talk to them when they come in. Oh, the, the dedicated meeting, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I like that idea. Why? I think we should have a discussion and then give it to them and then let them have it fully vetted in their own mind before we have that conversation. Say that again? Because we're going we're gonna to have a conversation about something, right? Yeah. And they're going to be looking for some direction from us. Yeah. So we're going to have sheets of paper we're going to give to them. Because that's kind of the whole discussion. Isn't that the big topic? Shouldn't we have that discussion and put something down in writing and give to them so they can look at it, maybe talk about it within themselves, and then have a meeting with us? Or I mean, if you want to, then we'd have to delay them until after town meeting. You think? You, I don't, okay, so then the, then the question would be, do you think there's any merit to doing it that way? Are we going to gain anything from doing it ahead of time and then giving it to them? Or if we have a conversation... They, they've already seen this concept, so they already have it. So okay. I don't... So let's, just, let's do it that way, then. Let's okay. do it at 7 o'clock and then have them in the same Okay. I would just call strategy, it free cash discussion. Free Stra cash. Well, free, free cash. Be, there's, two, there's, there's two separate discussions. One is strategy for high school, middle school uh, capital funding, which is the 7 o'clock piece. And then we invited the Finance Committee to come in to talk about free cash stabilization and school funding, a broader discussion. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, next topic, uh, the... Attorney General approve new open meeting laws, which are effective on Friday, I believe the date is. And there are some changes. And uh, I think we need to, we as a town, need to become familiar with them. So uh, on a future agenda, I think we should talk about what those are. And what are they? No, we shouldn't wait until that. We should get them, post them on our website for everybody to see, and send them to every board and committee members. Well, we're, that's that's taking action on an item, and this is a future agenda discussion. No, but that's just that's just managing the town property. But uh, but I think that open the, law. There's no that's no that's not yeah, but that's not a um that's that's not we're not delivering it over anything. That's I definitely. guess I mean we can we can post a new open meeting law on the website. That's fine. I guess what I wanted to do is have a broader discussion on how we can better instill open meeting values on our boards and committees. I because I think I would actually like that, and one of them being that I would like to have them more on TV. Yeah. Yes. But that could be, I would like that to be part of it. Serving on some subcommittees, if you will, or mm -hmm. other boards and committees, as far as like agendas and minutes, I think there could be a little better discipline. That's all. And this is a good opportunity because there's an update too. I got you. So it's not just that; it's about having a broader discussion. Yes. I am. But uh, but I think we should highlight the the new one. If there are significant changes, are there going to be significant that, changes, Mike? Some. There are. Yeah. They, like, they have tightened up some, and yes, there are. It is. It has changed a lot, but all the major concepts are still the same. But they highlighted certain things like meeting minutes and those type of things that they didn't uh, put in their regulations prior. So we should post them and make people aware of them anyway. That would be our due diligence is just running the town properly and have a discussion like Joe said I would have discussed. Yeah, I mean, I think somehow we need to summarize. I wouldn't just post what they've published because people aren't going to read it. So. Yeah, some, I mean, give them the, you know, the layman's version, the cliff shot version, and just, you know, hey, these, these are the... We have some new regulations. This is what is the thing that sticks out. So, so the next thing is the uh, we got a letter today from the police chief regarding uh, 302, a cruiser that was turned um, replaced. Mm -hmm. So, we need to discuss that in an open meeting. So I would ask. That would be an important thing that I would ask. 
Uh, last thing is, um, we need. I think we need to continue our executive session that we had earlier tonight because we didn't finish. So we yep. probably should set a date for that. Okay. Can we set a date for that? Um, uh, contract negotiation. No, yeah, no. The list of them up there. The executive session list is longer than the. Yeah. <laughs> So we didn't finish all of them. Okay, that covers it. <laughs> Make a motion to adjourn? Can I no. Ask well, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go first. I just wanted to set a date. That's what I was trying, that was my request. Mm -hmm. I don't have a date right now. Can we come back? Can we maybe take two or three days? Yeah. You want to do it on the weekend? You want to do it during the week? I don't care. I can. Either. either. I mean, there's certain days I can't come, but weekend's fine, too. Anything this week? This weekend's fine. Uh, I'm... No, not this weekend. I think I'm out of town. Okay. I'm busy. I mean, I have a wedding I have to do on Saturday. I have to see my mother to be at court on Sunday. Okay. Well, just starting with current... I'm just going to start with Next that. Next Tuesday? That's fine. Tuesday the 10th? Yep. I have to check. See, I have to check. My, uh, I'm fine my Tuesday mother. and Wednesday, 10 and 11. My mother. See, can we, can we kind of look at those and then decide later in the week? Yeah, t 10 11. Well, just. I would go with I would go with 11 better. Wednesday? Yeah. What time for you, Archie? You're busy. Um, busy no, Tuesday is my killer day, and I'm going to be jet lagged, so I'll be even worse. So, well, where are you going? Uh, Las Vegas. <laughs> I will not make any comments. So, 11 is better? Yeah. I mean, that's fine. It, 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 um, Glenn, you okay on 11? 11? As of right now, yeah, but I can't give you a, okay. a 100%, but I would say it would be a 99%. I just have to check my work schedule. I, I don't know. Any, I don't have the stupid phone to have everything. The following week would be tough for me unless it's a weekend. I, yeah. I think we should do it sooner than later. So okay. I think we should do it this week or next week by Wednesday at the latest. Because then we have another meeting mm -hmm. on Monday. No, okay. that would be. Yeah, they have another meeting. And that's with the FinCon and stuff and that. I want, I would prefer to try to keep that no executive session come in pretty pretty good and pretty fresh because that's going to be a long night. Okay, anything else? Nope, I move to adjourn. Can I just ask you, do you want me to just let you know if you have special meeting dates or something? Yes. Uh, I can give you an exact amount. And do you happen to know? Not if it passes, you mean? Yeah. Not off the top of my head. Does it do change? not, no. Okay. So you want to know what is in the... School stabilization. Yeah. Uh, the school stabilization. I have to add it up. I can add it up. Well, he's adding it. Are you having a meeting tomorrow night? Yeah. Will there be a discussion about Ask Patel tonight? Uh, oh, Huh? What's, oh no, Wednesday then. I'm sorry, it's Wednesday you have the. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Will, it, will that be a. When is that capella night? Yeah, that's right, 136. Because it's that last time. Um, apparently. Right, right, right. Better, good. Yeah. So it was only two years so yeah, far. Yeah, we talked yeah. about that's the reason why I know. She said she had a. She's coming. There's your meeting and there's a garden club meeting. No, she's doing better. She's up and around. It, it, no, it's good. It's, it was a scare. It didn't go too far, so it was good. Oh, 436,338. 436. 388. And we're proposing putting $500,000 into that. At the suggestion of the finance committee. <laughs> well, that's pretty Make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.